Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to go through how you can create a task list and link it together for building a house, in this case, building a wooden house. So on the right, I've got a screen shot of what I want to create. So these are the tasks, which I'll just type out in a second with the durations. And then you can see on the right hand side, on the Gantt chart side, I've linked them all up. You can't see the links there. So that's what I want to go through, just a practice of linking different tasks and showing different links. So if I just recreate this on this Gantt chart on the left, so the title is going to be Build a Wooden House. That's the title. And then the first task is in this example is Signed Contract. That's going to be a zero duration milestone. And everything's going to be indented under. So under the title. So Dig Foundation, first task, first proper task, deliver concrete. And then deliver timber. Build ground for ground floor walls. That's the first build ground floor walls. And then deliver windows lower. Windows lower build upper floor walls build upper floor walls deliver windows upper now when you're doing these tasks you need to make sure you don't write war and peace and have a massive sentence otherwise it becomes hard to manage and if you want it to be displayed on the Gantt chart like this it needs to be fairly concise. So where am I? Build, deliver windows upper, and then fit ground floor furnishing. Fit ground floor furnish. What does it say? Furnish ins. Fit upper floor furnishings. Customer check and then customer sign off. Okay, so let's go through the indents first off. Let's indent everything under the title. So that's these two buttons up here indent and outdent. So indent. So this now picks up the durations as I type them in. So sign contract I've already filled in one day. Dig foundation, missed out one straight off did that on purpose so I could practice doing insert task right click insert task site survey is going to be two days so site survey is two then we've got dig foundation dig foundation is one day I'm just pressing the figure one because it defaults the settings are default into one day duration or a day duration Deliver concrete two hours, so you have to put HR in there or H, and then deliver timber is also two H. Build ground floor walls two days, so two picks up days. Deliver windows, so we've got to build ground floor, deliver windows lower, this is two hours as well, and build upper floor, build upper floor two days deliver win deliver windows upper I've not put that in there so right click again insert task deliver windows upper and that'll be two hours is it deliver windows upper two hours yep and then we've got fit ground floor furnishings is one day fit upper is also one day Customer check is half a day, and then sign off is a milestone zero. So that at the moment gives me a duration, a total duration of two days, because that's the maximum one. Now to fill in these these links, to get these links, that site sign, sign contract is the trigger for this whole event. 
So this first task, site survey, doesn't happen until that's signed. So this would be a 2SS link, and then you'll get the link like that. So I can pull this down a little bit so we can see what's going on behind the scenes. So dig foundation is directly after that, so that's an easy one, that's three. So deliver windows and deliver timber are start to finish links. So that's going to push that back a little bit. So it's going to be um, 4 SF, 4 SF. You see it hanging back like that. And then this is also going to be 4 SF. So then we've got following on from dig foundation is build ground floor walls. So dig foundation is 4. So that's going to go in there, 4. So move this down a bit more. In fact, what I'll do is I'll just double click on this an add name so it's a task name that's going to appear there so you can see it so we're on um, deliver windows lower that's a start to finish as well this start of building ground floor will dictate when they can be delivered so that is an let's go for that one that's going to be a seven task seven seven sf start to finish and that sits like that and then this one, build upper floor walls, is linked to two. So it's also it's linked to this one, which is task seven. So it's seven and eight. I need to do a comma and eight. Let's just see if it looks the same. It's pushed it that way. It looks the same. Yep. And then we've got deliver windows upper. Deliver windows upper, which is going to be nine SF. Nine SF. So they're all... Oops, 9 SF they're all dictated by the start of the other task and then you've got fit ground floor furnishing is after build upper floors and deliver windows so that's going to be 9 and 10 so 9 comma 10 and then fit upper floor furnishings is after Build walls upper. Build walls upper is nine. Build walls upper floor walls. Yep. Yeah. Build ground floor walls. Comma ten. And then customer check is just going to follow on from that. So that's going to be twelve. And then. That will be 13 just following on so now if i just move this right out of the way there we have the links which is exactly the same as this diagram and you've got the links in there now if i double click on one of these tasks so you can see where i'm getting these links from the types or the abbreviations these are the abbreviations look that i'm getting so start to finish sf you only need to put fs if you're qualifying it with a lead or lag time otherwise you can just put the number in there like it's like it is on some of these like that one there four I didn't need to put FS finish to start because there's no qualifier there's no lead or plus or minus a time so therefore it's just an actual number if there is a lead or lag time you do have to put FS and then plus or minus whatever the duration is so that's just a very short video of how you can create a task list and then link the task lists looking at different types of link to achieve your aim. So hopefully this video is of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.